so what is ethics yes ethics means okay which is commonly referred to as moral philosophy okay what is ethics yes many times we say what is ethical and what is unethical in generally okay may not be the same in business see ethics also called as moral philosophy discipline is concerned with what is morally good and bad and morally right and wrong the term is also applied to any system or theory of moral values or principles okay ethics is defined as a moral philosophy or code of morals practiced by a person or group of people an example of ethics is the code of conduct set by a business the standards that govern the conduct of a person especially a member of a profession okay when it comes to ethics what is ethics all about yes when we consider the meaning of ethics ethics is the discipline dealing with that which is good or bad and with moral duty and obligations business ethics refers to application of moral values accepted character and behavior by the contemporary business world to all business activities dealing offers practices and such other issues ethics influences various business activities okay so ethics is defined as a moral philosophy or code of morals practiced by a person or group of people an example of ethics is a code of conduct set by a business okay the standard that govern the conduct of a person especially a member of a profession okay it is included in ethics see when we consider ethics in job design see the first thing okay prior to that what is the influence of business ethics yes the influences of business ethics include business ethical policies and practices influence and shape the individual ethics characters and behavior the ethical standards of the top management influence and shape the decisional values and decision making styles of the middle and junior level managers okay the business ethics influence the conduct of various business operations including hrm operations or functions okay so when we consider ethics ethics includes the ethical standards of the top management which influence and shape the decisional values and decision making styles of the middle and junior level managers okay the business ethics influence the conduct of various business operations including hrm operations or functions okay so when we consider ethics ethics manje kay jala marathi madhe niti shastra asa mhatla jata bagha ekhada vyakti ekhada vyakti jema organization madhe kaam karat asto ekhada vyakti jema organization madhe kaam karat asto tar tene kay karavo काय करू नये ओके हे जशामध्ये येतं जेट त्यालाच आपण काय म्हणतो नीतिशास्त्र किंवा एथिक्स असं म्हणतो ओके जेव्हा आपण एथिक्सचा विचार करतो जेव्हा आपण एथिक्सचा विचार करतो बघा प्रत्येक ऑर्गनायझेशनचं ओके प्रत्येक ऑर्गनायझेशनचं किंवा प्रत्येक ऑर्गनायझेशनची एक एथिक्सशी रिलेटेड कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट पॉलिसी असते ओके कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट काय आहे इज इट कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट मीन्स डूज अँड डोंट्स ओके सी वेन एव्हर वेन एव्हर यू थिंक ऑफ एनी ऑर्गनायझेशन वेन एव्हर यू थिंक ऑफ एनी ऑर्गनायझेशन ॲट दिस टाईम 
okay whenever you think about any organization and this time okay there are some things okay there are some things which always you should keep in mind okay there are some do's as well as there are some don'ts is it so what is morally right and what is morally wrong okay what is good and what is bad okay ethics is also called as moral philosophy okay the discipline with which what is morally good and morally bad it is concerned okay see whenever we consider whenever we consider ethics what ethics means yes ethics means that yes what is good what is bad okay so every organization it is used to some code of conduct okay there is some code of conduct related to the organization what is the code of conduct okay see for example there are some things which are not to be done okay there are some things which are not to be done okay for example so jeva apan ethics cha vichar karto ethics ka important ahet yes ethics mule ऑर्गनाइजेशन मदे का असू नए का कराव का करू नए ये सर्व कहते ओके जेव अपन एथिक्स का विचार करतो एथिक्स मु ओके यस तो जो एम्प्लॉई है तो एम्प्लॉई एक प्रकार से डायरेक्शन मिलत एज इट कि करू आव का करू नए एज इट ये रिनेटेड ओके गेटिंग इट so the standards they are laid down okay into the organization through which the conduct of a person especially a member of a profession okay they are given as it and the members of the organization that is the employees of the organization okay they are required employees of the organization they are required to follow this is it see when we consider when we consider employees of the organization is it see some of the employees they are new is it some of the employees they are new okay so when we consider this new employees when we consider this new employees okay what happens yes okay the fresh candidates or the freshers they are not aware about the organization's culture is it and as they are freshers okay as they are freshers they don't know what to do and what not to do is it so when we consider this freshers okay when we consider this freshers okay to avail them about the culture of the organization and the environment of the organization and what is good and what is bad okay some programs they are organized through which this people they are exposed to ethics of the organization okay they are exposed to ethics of the organization okay getting it so due to this what happens yes due to this the organization is benefited okay and due to this the organization is benefited getting it
then the ethics in job design what is this see when we consider job there are some ethics do's and don'ts which should be followed by employee and which should be also followed by the employer okay for example work simplification job rotation job enlargement job enrichment autonomous work teams high performance work design empowerment de jobbing okay one by one we will go through it work simplification what is work simplification okay when we consider ethics into human resource management okay see when we consider work simplification what work simplification is yes in work simplification what is included see whenever the work is designed that is the job is designed okay at that time okay whenever the job is designed at that time itself okay it should be simplified and it should be specified that much okay it should be simplified and it should be specified that much surely it will earn good amount of return okay it will earn good amount of return see under this option work is oversimplified work is oversimplified okay therefore it results in boredom committing mistakes and tendering resignations unethical issue involved in this option is oversimplification of job okay see work simplification means what classification of the work in such a way okay classification of the work in such a way that okay it will be oversimplified therefore it results into boredom committing mistakes and tendering resignation okay when when we consider unethical issues okay the unethical issues involved in this option is oversimplification of jobs then job rotation see unethical issues involved in this option are jobs do not improve from innovative perspective and workers may feel alienated okay, okay? job rotation what is, what do you mean by job rotation okay the change of job profile is included in job rotation okay getting it then job enlargement what is job enlargement see though the job enlargement claims to have motivational impact it results in more boring task okay job enrichment what is job enrichment job enrichment seems to be more ethical compared to other options as it results in increased motivation and reduced absenteeism it enables the employees to meet their psychological needs and ultimately bring out empowered team autonomous work team this option involves the employees in decision making execution coordination and controlling fully it enables the workers to use their human resources to the maximum extent and benefits the organization hence it is viewed that designing the jobs based on this option is ethical then high performance work design this option provides complete freedom to the workers and encourages them to be innovative and creative 
empowerment this option develops the employee in acquiring skill and knowledge in addition to enabling him to do the jobs in which he has aptitude dejobbing dejobbing environment is more suitable for the competitive markets it checks the companies from overstaffing in addition to preparing the committed employees it is more ethical to design the jobs based on empowerment and dejobbing as the organizations under the liberalized and global environment are more competitive in nature okay see when we consider dejobbing what is dejobbing dejobbing means double jobbing or overstaffing okay in addition to what you require what you do is you hire the additional staff okay ethical issues in wage and salary administration okay see what should be the wage and what should be the salary how to administrate it how to quote it okay what is wage see uh, we have gone through this term right what is wage yes wage is something which is paid to the labor is it the reward paid to the second factor of production is wage okay when we consider labor when we consider labor yes labor is the most active factor labor is the most active factor into your organization is it see when we consider the employees employees are divided into two parts okay first part is blue collar worker second part is white collar worker okay when we consider blue collar workers okay blue collar workers are those workers yes who do who do um work in factory buildings okay who do work in factory buildings is it um so they are called as blue collar workers as they actually uh, work on the machineries okay and the other part is white collar workers okay who are usually termed as office office bearers okay now when we consider this office bearers okay who are these people yes these people are those okay these people are those uh, who have the mental work okay so when we compare these two persons okay the remuneration or the reward which is paid to this person it differs okay wage is paid to the person who gives or allots physical work is it who is termed as blue collar worker who works in the factory building okay and when it comes to when we consider when we consider a salary salary is paid to the office bearers salary is paid to the office bearer a person who engages himself uh, with the mental work okay uh, to this person we give salary okay now what are the ethical issues in wage and salary administration yes it is wage inequalities it is reduction of the gap and payment of equal pay okay wage inequalities means what okay see uh, if there are two people if there are two people okay skilled workers and unskilled workers okay if there are two people skilled workers and unskilled workers okay when we consider skilled workers and unskilled workers okay who are the skilled workers skilled workers are the people who do have skills into them okay and who are unskilled workers the people who lack skills okay they are grouped under the title unskilled workers okay usually the skilled workers they are having high high moral high uh, qualification high knowledge is it and their ability capability is uh, is it it has a strength into it okay so when we consider this um, people okay when we consider this people okay what is more important yes it is important that yes it is important that even though uh, there is a difference between the workers okay some of them are skilled some of them are semi skilled some of them are unskilled some are productive some are unproductive okay they might differ into many of the qualities they might differ into many of the things is it but still okay but still what is more important 
yes the wage which is paid to them at least it should be equal somewhere is it it should be equal somewhere okay at least the minimum wages should be paid to this person okay then reduction of the gap okay reduction of the gap means what yes gap between richer and poorer as well as the gap between the levels of the management okay see uh, there might be discrimination into the levels of the management is it so when we consider the levels of management yes we should be able to reduce the gap between it okay then the payment of equal pay payment of equal pay means what yes everybody everybody should be paid equally is it see these are the ethical issues related to wage and salary administration okay when we consider the ethical issues when we consider the ethical issues these are the important ethical issues into it ethical issues in employment and human resource development okay what are the different ethical issues in employment and human resource development okay the first one is cash and cash and compensation plans okay see there are ethical issues pertaining to the salaries executive perquisites and the annual incentive plans etc the hr manager is often under pressure to raise the band of base salaries there is increased pressure upon the hr function to pay out more incentives to the top management and justification for the same is put as the need to retain the later further ethical issues crop in hr when long term compensation and incentive plans are designed in consultation with ceo or an external consultant while deciding upon the payout there is pressure on favoring the interest of top management in comparison to that of other employees and stakeholders okay then race gender and disability in many organizations till recently the employees were differentiated on the basis of their race gender origin and their disability okay not any more ever since the evolution of laws and a regulatory framework that has standardized employee behaviors towards each other in filling litigation has made put organization on the back foot managers are trained for aligning behavior and avoiding discrepancy practices see cash and compensation plan what is this see the compensation that is the remuneration or reward which you are giving to your employee yes which you are giving to your employee is it suitable or is it low okay when we consider this when we consider this okay it will be included in ethical okay see whenever you are determining compensation plan for your employees okay whenever you are determining compensation plan for your employee you should always be caring okay you should always be caring about some things okay which are those things yes you should always be caring about compensation as it see the compensation which you are paying to your employee or to your worker it should be that much that at least he can make his expenditure from that okay he should be able to make his expenditure from that okay so when we consider compensation okay when we consider compensation okay see as a concerned person as a person from the top management what you should be doing yes why ethics are important here see ethics in the sense through your rational mind through your rational mind okay you should think on the issue that okay how much we are paying to our employee whether it is satisfactory to them or not okay whether he can satisfy whether he can satisfy his needs 
from this okay you should be yes you should always be making it happen that the salary which you are paying to your employee whether is it it is satisfying that person or not okay you should always be caring about it you should always be caring about this okay getting it then as a hr yes what you should be doing yes you should always you should always convey the top management that yes this is the expenditure schedule of the workers the workers need so and so remuneration for completing okay so and so remuneration for completing their expenses for is it um, for completing their expenditure they need so and so amount of income then race gender and disability okay race gender and disability what is race gender and disability all about yes race gender and disability means that yes based on all this criteria the employees should not be differentiated yes based on all these criteria okay the employees should not be yes they should not be discriminated anyway okay getting it not any more ever since the evaluation of laws and a regulated framework that has standardized employee behaviors towards each other see whenever the people from okay the people from different races genders they are working together is it based on their race based on their gender no type of bias should be made okay everyone should work hand in hand okay this is what ethics aids ke bagha cash and compensation plan kay ahe tar compensation jala apan reward manto jo apan employee la deto wage ke and salary che swarupat okay tar he jo compensation ahe he kiti aslo pahije tar tachatun ta एम्प्लॉईला स्वतःचे ॲटलिस्ट एक्सपेंडिचर करता यावेत एवढं त्याला कॉम्पेन्सेशन असलं पाहिजे ओके ॲज अ एच आर किती गरजेचं आहे हे तुम्ही टॉप मॅनेजमेंटला कन्व्हे करणं एक इथिकल प्रॅक्टिस आहे ओके देन रेस जेंडर अँड डिसॅबिलिटी बघा तुम्ही कुठल्या रेसचे आहात कुठल्या जेंडरचे आहात ओके किंवा तुम्ही ॲज अट एबल आहात का डिसेबल आहात याच्यावरून कोणत्याही प्रकारे भेदभाव ऑर्गनायझेशनमध्ये सेट केला नाही पाहिजे 
यामुळे काय होईल ॲसिड जर भेदभाव होत असेल शिवरली द वर्क प्लेस इज वर्थ फॉर नथिंग दॅन एम्प्लॉयमेंट इश्यूज येस वॉट आर द डिफरंट एम्प्लॉयमेंट इश्यूज एम्प्लॉयमेंट इश्यूज मीन्स दॅट वेन एव्हर यू थिंक अबाउट वेन एव्हर यू थिंक अबाउट ह्युमन रिसोर्सेस प्रॅक्टिशनर्स फेस बिगर डिलेमास इन एम्प्लॉय हायरिंग वन डिलेमा स्टेम्स फ्रॉम द प्रेशर ऑफ हायरिंग सम वन हु हॅज बीन रिकमेंडेड बाय अ फ्रेंड सम वन फ्रॉम युअर फॅमिली ऑर अ टॉप एक्झिक्युटिव्ह येट अनादर डिलेम अरायजेस वेन यू हॅव ऑलरेडी हायर्ड सम वन अँड ही ऑर शी इज लेटर फाउंड टू हॅव प्रेझेंटेड फेक डॉक्युमेंट्स ओके एम्प्लॉयमेंट इश्यूज वॉट आर दिस employee issue employment issues means yes whenever you are hiring a person okay check the documents as it thoroughly as it after you appoint the person okay no type of dishonesty should be there from their, their part for that okay बघा तुम्ही जेव्हा तुमचे एम्प्लॉई अपॉइंट अपॉइंट करता एम्प्लॉय मी एम्प्लॉई अपॉइंट करतानाच एज इट खूप केअर घेणं गरजेचं आहे कारण की कुठेतरी एज इट ते जे एम्प्लॉईज आहेत त्यांच्यामध्ये स्किल्स नसतील त्यांच्यामध्ये नॉलेज नसेल एज इट तेवढे ते क्वालिटीचे नसतील तर कुठेतरी तुमची प्रोडक्शन ॲक्टिव्हिटी हार्म किंवा हर्ट होऊ शकते एज इट आणि त्यांचे जे डॉक्युमेंट्स आहेत ज्याच्या थ्रू ते स्किल्ड आहेत हे रिप्रेझेंट होतं ते जे डॉक्युमेंट्स आहेत ते इतके छान असले पाहिजेत एज इट इतके ॲक्युरेट असले पाहिजेत की जेणेकरून तुमच्या प्रोडक्शन ॲक्टिव्हिटीला कोणत्याही प्रकारे किंवा तुमच्या ऑर्गनायझेशनला कोणत्याही प्रकारे नुकसान होणार नाही ओके गेटिंग इट दॅन प्रायव्हसी इश्यूज any person working with any organization is an individual and has a personal side to his existence which he demands should be respected okay see every person every person has his personal life okay being an hr you are no one to interfere in their life is it so some kind of protectiveness some kind of security should be given to this person is it if now and then you are interfering his matters is it if you are having such type of reserved kind of mentality is it surely your employee will not be satisfied working with you is it bagha tumcha jo employee ahe tumcha jo employee ahe to employee is it tyachi kay tari privacy aste ओके जर तुम्ही नाव एन देन त्याच्या कामामध्ये पिप करत असाल बघत असाल एज इट कुठेतरी त्याला इन्सेक्युरिटी जाणवेल आणि काय होईल ही कॅन रिजेक्ट और रिझाईन युअर जॉब ओके गेटिंग इट सो वॉट इज इथिक्स येस इथिक्स मीन्स ओके विच इज कॉमनली रेफर टू ॲज मॉरल फिलॉसॉफी ओके वॉट इज इथिक्स येस मेनी टाइम्स वी सी वॉट इज इथिकल अँड वॉट इज अनइथिकल इन जनरली ओके मे नॉट बी द सेम इन बिझनेस सी इथिक्स also called as moral philosophy discipline is concerned with what is morally good and bad and morally right and wrong the term is also applied to any system or theory of moral values or principles okay ethics is defined as 
a moral philosophy or code of morals practiced by a person or group of people an example of ethics is the code of conduct set by a business the standards that govern the conduct of a person especially a member of a profession okay when it comes to ethics what is ethics all about yes when we consider the meaning of ethics ethics is the discipline dealing with that which is good or bad and with moral duty and obligations business ethics refers to application of moral values accept a character and behavior by the contemporary business world to all business activities dealing offers practices and such other issues ethics influences various business activities okay so ethics is defined as a moral philosophy or code of morals practiced by a person or group of people an example of ethics is a code of conduct set by a business okay the standard that govern the conduct of a person especially a member of a profession okay it is included in ethics see when we consider ethics in job design see the first thing okay prior to that what is the influence of business ethics yes the influences of business ethics include business ethical policies and practices influence and shape the individual ethics characters and behavior the ethical standards of the top management influence and shape the decisional values and decision making styles of the middle and junior level managers okay the business ethics influence the conduct of various business operations including hrm operations or functions okay so when we consider ethics ethics includes the ethical standards of the top management which influence and shape the decisional values and decision making styles of the middle and junior level managers okay and the business ethics influence the conduct of various business operations including hrm operations or functions okay so when we consider ethics ethics manje kay jala marathi madhe niti shastra asa mhatla jat bagha ekhada vyakti ekhada vyakti jeva organization madhe kaam karat asto ekhada vyakti jeva organization madhe kaam karat asto tar tene kay karavo काय करू नये ओके हे जशामध्ये येतं जेट त्यालाच आपण काय म्हणतो नीतिशास्त्र किंवा एथिक्स असं म्हणतो ओके जेव्हा आपण एथिक्सचा विचार करतो जेव्हा आपण एथिक्सचा विचार करतो बघा प्रत्येक ऑर्गनायझेशनचं ओके प्रत्येक ऑर्गनायझेशनचं किंवा प्रत्येक ऑर्गनायझेशनची एक एथिक्सशी रिलेटेड कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट पॉलिसी असते ओके कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट काय आहे इज इट कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट मीन्स डूज अँड डोंट्स ओके सी वेन एव्हर वेन एव्हर यू थिंक ऑफ एनी ऑर्गनायझेशन वेन एव्हर यू थिंक ऑफ एनी ऑर्गनायझेशन ॲट दिस टाईम ओके वेन एव्हर यू थिंक अबाउट एनी ऑर्गनायझेशन ॲट दिस टाईम ओके देर आर सम थिंग्स ओके देर आर सम थिंग्स विच ऑलवेज यू शूड कीप इन माइंड ओके देर आर सम डूज ॲज वेल ॲज देर आर सम डोंट्स इज इट so what is morally right and what is morally wrong okay what is good and what is bad okay ethics is also called as moral philosophy okay the discipline with which what is morally good and morally bad it is concerned okay see whenever we consider whenever we consider ethics what ethics means yes ethics means that yes what is good what is bad 
ओके सो एवरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट इज़ यूज टू सम कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट ओके देर इज सम कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट रिलेटेड टू द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वॉट इज द कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट ओके सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर आर सम थिंग्स विच आर नॉट टू बी डन ओके देर आर सम थिंग्स विच आर नॉट टू बी डन ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो जेव अपन इथिक्स का विचार करतो इथिक्स का इम्पॉर्टंट आहेत येस एथिक्समुळे ऑर्गनायझेशनमध्ये काय असावं काय असू नये काय करावं काय करू नये हे सर्व कळतं ओके जेव्हा आपण एथिक्सचा विचार करतो एथिक्समुळे ओके येस तो जो एम्प्लॉई आहे त्या एम्प्लॉईला एक प्रकारचं डायरेक्शन मिळतं ॲज इट की काय करू हवं काय करू नये ॲज इट याच्याशी रिलेटेड ओके गेटिंग इट so the standards they are laid down okay into the organization through which the conduct of a person especially a member of a profession okay they are given as it and the members of the organization that is the employees of the organization okay they are required employees of the organization they are required to follow this is it see when we consider when we consider employees of the organization is it see some of the employees they are new is it some of the employees they are new okay so when we consider this new employees when we consider this new employees okay what happens yes okay the fresh candidates or the freshers they are not aware about the organization's culture is it and as they are freshers okay as they are freshers they don't know what to do and what not to do is it so when we consider this freshers okay when we consider this freshers okay to avail them about the culture of the organization and the environment of the organization and what is good and what is bad okay some programs they are organized through which these people they are exposed to ethics of the organization okay they are exposed to ethics of the organization okay getting it so due to this what happens yes due to this the organization is benefited again due to this the organization is benefited getting it then the ethics in job design what is this see when we consider job there are some ethics do's and don'ts which should be followed by employee and which should be also followed by the employer okay for example work simplification job rotation job enlargement job enrichment autonomous work teams high performance work design empowerment de jobbing okay one by one we will go through it 